Hello everyone, welcome once again to our online fertility awareness program, You and Your Fertility. We are at the 20 Steps to Pregnancy series. This is episode 19. One more step after this and we'll be done with this series. It's been interesting. If you haven't seen anyone, if it's the first one you're watching, go to our YouTube channel at love underscore foundation and you will see all the episodes recorded there and you'll be able to follow from the first step to the last. Welcome once again. Today we'll be talking about staying positive on the fertility journey. Staying positive on the fertility journey. I'm smiling because a lot of people say, ah, it doesn't help. Thinking positive is not the solution to infertility. It doesn't change much and things like that. Today we want to discover why it is important to have positive thoughts or to, to maintain a positive mindset during the fertility journey. So stay with us and you will find out. We started by saying that many people think that just thinking positive is not the solution to infertility. I would want to rephrase that by saying that thinking positive is not the only solution to infertility. Yes, infertility is a scourge. It is something that demoralizes, it depresses, it just brings you down. It affects every aspect of your life. That is true. Just thinking positive is not going to change that. But is there any impact that staying positive has on this journey and its outcomes? Very important. Yes, the answer to that question is yes. So in as much as we agree that just beginning to think beautiful thoughts about children or about getting pregnant or about conception is not going to automatically change the reality that you are dealing with this challenge, we want to categorically state that it has some beneficial effect on the outcome of your fertility journey and we want to talk about this even the medical correlation to it now the bible says that as a man thinks in his heart so he is that is scriptural that is spiritual or religious as you might want to call it <clears throat> but what does it actually mean it means that a person's mindset how a person is thinking determines to a great extent the person's outlook or mood or disposition that is actually the literal interpretation of that so if a man is thinking happy thoughts he is happy happy as a man thinks so he is that is what it means it doesn't necessarily mean that if you think wealth you will automatically money will just start pouring down or if you think babies babies will just start raining into your heart no so the kind of thoughts that that the bible is explaining there is your mood okay and that is where we want to pin our discussion on today so as you think in your heart so you are so if you think happy thoughts you are happy if you think angry thoughts you are angry if you think depressing thoughts you are depressed if you think um like a failure you fail or you are a failure actually okay if you think successful thoughts you are a success this is true now how we can bring that to real medical correlation is that our thought process determines our moods we have established that just literally now our moods are a big part of our body's activities what it means is that the mood you're in can determine to a large extent the state you are in in health and we're going to look at our mental health in this regard, okay? So if you are thinking happy thoughts, you are happy. If you are thinking sad thoughts, you are sad. That's at least we have agreed that much. Now for somebody or people who focus more on negative thoughts, negative emotions is what will follow, we have agreed. That means that their mind is always in that state and so their body will follow suit. Why does this happen? We have talked about stress um, along the line of these episodes. And one of the things that we really established is that our body can be under stress even without us knowing it. And one of the things that is implicated 
in bringing about stress to our bodies is our mood now if you have negative feelings and emotions your body is automatically under some kind of stress because we agreed that stress or emotions are one of the the triggers of stress in the body we mentioned a few of them like sleep ability to have enough sunlight your general body well-being exercise all of that contributes to whether a person is stressed or not stressed we also said that emotions are a big part of whether our, our body is stressed or not so if we are having negative emotions all those negative feelings and thoughts which emanate from thoughts or negative thoughts anyway our body is likely to be under stress because we agreed that the hormones that control negative emotions that coordinate them are the same hormones as the stress hormones so just by having negative mindsets and negative thoughts and all of that your body is automatically being controlled by the stress hormones and we agreed during those um that, during that particular episode that when the body is on uh, under the control of the stress hormones there are certain um systems that reduce their function or even shut down completely in a bid for the body to manage that stressful situation that is how the body is wired so it is not just wishful thinking that thinking negative puts you under stress no it is actually biological because if you are under negative emotions you're in a bad mood you're depressed you're angry and all of that negative feelings your body is under stress because the same hormones that regulate those feelings are the actual stress hormones the cortisol the adrenaline so just by staying in a negative state of mind your body is under stress so let us bring it to our topic for today maintaining a positive mindset inadvertently means that the body is not under the control of stress hormones let's just literally put it that way and if the body is not under the control of stress hormones all the systems are permitted to function as they are as they ought to as they are supposed to so just by thinking happy thoughts even if those thoughts will not magically present what you're wishing for it keeps your body out of some kind of stress the one that can be triggered by emotions okay and then it gives you <clears throat> a, a better outlook to life it's so so your body is functioning and whatever else you are doing to help that particular situation functions works in that body which is in a state to function because of a positive mindset you need to understand this so having a positive mindset we agree also that our thoughts are energies it attracts goodwill it attracts good feelings it just helps all the cells in your body to function better it makes you feel alive it makes you feel like you can do anything like you can achieve anything that alone can help or coerce your body into cooperating with you for whatever treatment that you are trying to undergo or whatever medication you're taking whatever is happening in your body that feel good environment that you create by having a positive mindset automatically gears your body into giving you better results because that body is cooperating with whatever else you are doing with it whatever treatment you're giving to it whatever medication whatever procedure that body in that feel good state is cooperating with that procedure with those drugs and those medications to bring about better outcomes as against a body which is under stress from being in a negative mindset that body is not at its optimal in function and so most likely will less cooperate let me put it that way let me not say not cooperate but would less cooperate with whatever else you're trying to do be it medication be it a procedure or whatever so it pays you to have a positive mindset in this journey choose to be happy choose to 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 feel good about yourself choose to to think hopeful thoughts choose to imagine that one day you'll get out of this one day you'll be a winner in this journey when you think those kind of thoughts your body aligns 
you know, and functions, does what you want it to do. We have explained how that happens even biologically, medically, if you want to put it that way. And before you know it, you begin to get results. Why? Because your body is in a state to function just naturally. So what are we saying in this session or in this episode today? We are saying that it is important for you to take charge of your thoughts, take charge of what you're thinking, make sure that you choose to deliberately, intentionally think good positive thoughts. It gives you positive vibes. Your body generally feels good. It is in a state to function. Now, we want to make it clear that just sitting down and having wishful thoughts is not what this episode is about. No. I have repeatedly said that your body better cooperate with whatever else you're doing. That means there are some other things that you need to do. Things you need to know, things you need to change, things you need to incorporate, treatment you need to receive. But whatever else it is you're doing, when that body is in that feel-good state, Mm -hmm. when that body is in that environment where everything is functioning, you are able to get better results. Mm -hmm. As against when the body is angry and having all those negative feelings, which means that the stress hormones are in charge which also means that some things in the body are not functioning how they are supposed to function because once the body is under stress we have used the phone as an analogy to explain this if you have your phones or whatever other gadgets that uses battery for example and you have no battery automatically you know that that gadget would not perform optimally everyday example is your phone my own particular phone when the battery is five percent and below it will not be able to record videos it might not do internet properly okay to some extent might not take pictures even until the battery is charged so just take that as what happens in your body when it is under stress when the body is under stress it's not doing all that it is supposed to do that's the message And emotions are one of the stressors or one of the stress factors for the body. When the body is in a negative state, thinking negative thoughts and feeling negatively, because once you think negative, you will feel negative. That's that's just that's just it. That's what the Bible was trying to say that as a man thinks, so he is. So if you are thinking negative thoughts, you are in that state, your body is in that state, and when that happens. The body does not function. But when you you entertain positive thoughts and feelings, the body is in a state where it is doing everything that it is naturally supposed to do. And whatever else you are doing, the body cooperates with it to give you better outcomes. It is even better to just feel good, to just feel happy. It is a better state of mind, whatever the challenge is. Even God understands that it is not easy, and that is why the Bible still records in Proverbs 13, okay, verses 12, that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Even the Bible recognizes that. That is not easy to wait. When you are expectant, when you are waiting for something, it makes your heart heavy sometimes. It makes you feel down sometimes. But you have to pick yourself up and choose to stay in the state where that body will function so that you will get that desire. And when it comes, the Bible says that it is a tree of life. Thank you for staying with us on this episode. We hope this has been able to impact on somebody and we, we, we wish you the very best on this journey even as you come to a close of this episode by next week. Keep staying with us. Follow us on all our handles. Instagram at love underscore foundation underscore. YouTube at love underscore foundation. Facebook love foundation or waiting to conceive. You can contact us on WhatsApp as well on 08175629809. Keep going on this fertility journey. You will win. Until we see you again next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.